From ghost stories and tales of supernatural, this is Canada's top 10 most haunted places. Number 10, Maritain Tunnel. The Maritain Tunnel, also known as the Blue Ghost Tunnel and the Grand Trunk Railway. The construction was completed in the spring of 1876 but over the course of the build, three deaths were reported. The famous accident was that of a 14-year-old child who was crushed under the weight of large stones. There were so many injuries occurring daily, but nothing that would have stopped construction. By the time the Maritain Tunnel was completed, it was already outdated. People have reported of footsteps being heard, voices of someone or something screaming, rocks being thrown at you, and ghostly apparitions in the tunnel. Number 9. Fairmont Chateau Laurier Chateau Laurier was commissioned by Charles Melvin Hayes, the president of Grand Trunk Railway. Charles Melvin Hayes was born on May 16, 1856 in Illinois, USA, and was only 17 when he began working for the Grand Trunk Railway. After two years of construction, the Chateau Laurier's grand opening was set for April 26, 1912. A few weeks earlier, Charles Hayes had secured a room aboard the Titanic to travel to England to tie up loose ends. On April 14, 1912, the Titanic struck an iceberg and Charles Hayes remained on board to help women and children into lifeboats. On June 1, 1912, Sir Wilfrid Laurier opened the hotel doors to the public and over the next hundred years, the hotel would be visited by senators, actors and sportsmen. People have claimed that glass ashtrays had split in half without falling or anyone in the room. People had heard voices singing in the stairwells, ghostly apparitions, being touched by an invisible entity. Staff and guests have also reported of furniture being rearranged. Number 8. Old Spaghetti Factory The first Old Spaghetti Factory restaurant opened at Gastown in 1970. The Old Spaghetti Factory has four ghosts as residents. First and best known is the spirit of a tram conductor that frequents the old trolley cars that's parked inside the restaurant. The second ghostly apparition at the Old Spaghetti Factory is a mischievous spirit known as the Little Red Man. Staff members had reported of a sinister voice calling out their names, but after further investigation they quickly realized that no one is there. On one occasion, two ladies saw a man leave one of the cubicles, dressed in a red shirt and red long jeans. After he looked at them and laughing mischievously, he left through the washroom door. To their surprise, nobody else had seen the unmistakable man leave the washroom. It's said that one of the women took a picture of the ghost, but when the film was developed, he was appeared as a blur. The third ghost is that of a young boy. One late evening, a waitress was finishing up her shift when she saw a young boy running around the restaurant. She was so scared that she resigned on the spot. Staff members have seen spoons and forks being bent and mysteriously returned to normal by the ghostly young boy. The fourth ghost sighting was of a young girl sitting at the table near the front of the restaurant and holding a balloon. It was reported that a friend of the general manager claimed to have engaged in a long conversation with the little girl, but when the general manager approached the table, she disappeared. The man was so shaken, he immediately left the restaurant and had not returned to this day. A psychic who had visited the restaurant confirmed the presence of ghosts and claiming the paranormal activity originates from a vortex found at the back of the restaurant. Number 7. Fairmont Bannett Springs Hotel the Bannett Springs Hotel first opened in 1888 in Alberta, built by the Canadian Pacific Railway. The city of Bannett and the hotel were named after the first European settler in this region of Canada, William Davison, who was born in Bannett, Scotland. Since the opening of the hotel, it had welcomed guests from British royalty to Winston Churchill. There are many haunting tales around about the Bannett Springs Hotel. Guests have claimed that they have heard violent screams and bloody handprints in the mirrors in the middle of the night. Room 873 had once been rented by a family who were murdered in this room. This murder was unsolved and later turned into the movie we all know called The Shining. As of 2017, room 873 is still inaccessible from the hallway. 
Number six, Hockey Hall of Fame. Prior to serving as Canada's hockey shrine, this building was once a Bank of Montreal. Legend has it that a lonely bank teller named Dorothea committed suicide on the upper floor of the bank in the mid-1900s. Dorothea was orphaned at the age of nine when both of her parents died within two years of each other. Employees that worked with her at the bank remembered her as a beautiful person. She was having an affair with the bank manager who was married at the time. But later when he rejected her, Dorothea took a 38 caliber revolver from a drawer in the bank and went to the second floor of the woman's bathroom and shot herself. She was transported to the closest hospital where she was pronounced dead. There has been numerous reports of strange activity occurring in the building where staff and employees have refused to go to the second floor and to be in the building after 6 p.m. Common activity reports include random cold spots, lights turning off and on, and doors opening and closing by themselves. Employees have heard moans and screams coming from throughout the building and hearing footsteps. Some witnesses have said they felt like something had touched them on the shoulders. The most famous sighting was from Rob Hines, the former Hall of Fame employee. Rob states he was in the kitchen on the second floor behind the conference room when he got an airy feeling that someone was watching him. When he entered the conference room, he saw one of the chairs moving around on its own. He claims there was no breeze in the room at the time or no one in the room. He quickly exited the room when suddenly the chair started to move towards him. There was another incident where a young male had visited the Hall of Fame when he started to scream, and I quote, Don't you see her? Don't you see her? He claimed he saw a woman with long black hair walking through walls on the upstairs level. Number 5, Old Fort Erie. Also known as Fort Erie National Historic Site of Canada, it was built in 1764 and it was located on the Niagara River's edge below the present fort. Old Fort Erie was the first British fort to be constructed as part of a network developed after the Seven Year War. It served as a supply depot and a port for ships transporting troops and passengers from Lake Erie to the Upper Great Lakes. The fort saw its first action as a supply base for the British troops during the American Revolution. The fort suffered considerable damage due to continuous winter storms. In 1803, plans was authorized for a new fort to be constructed on heights behind the original post. Between 1812 and 1815, Fort Erie was the site of the bloodiest battlefield in the history of Canada. This new fort was unfinished when the United States declared war on June 18, 1812. Fort Erie was held for a period by the U.S. forces and then later abandoned on June 9, 1813. On July 3, 1814, the U.S. forces once again captured Fort Erie and used the fort as a supply base and expanded its size. The British launched an attack on the fort, but an explosion in the northeast of the fort destroyed the British chances for success and over 2,000 troops lost their lives that day. Being the site of Canada's bloodiest battlefield, it wouldn't be surprising that there are spirits lurking in the shadows at Old Fort Erie. People have said to see American and British soldiers roaming around the fort dressed in their full uniforms. The visitors have reported of being touched and pushed by an entity. Electronics would malfunction. New batteries would instantly die. Strange mist shadow figures can be seen wandering the fields at Old Fort Erie. Number 4. Kingston Penitentiary Kingston Pen is a former maximum security prison located in Kingston, Ontario. Built between 1833 and 1834, the Kingston Pen opened on June 1, 1835 as a provincial penitentiary of the province of Upper Canada. It was the oldest prison in continuous use in the world at the time of its closure. On April 14, 1971, a riot broke out and six guards were held hostage but all guards were later released unharmed and two inmates was pronounced dead and the destruction of much of the prison. Kingston Penitentiary had been home to many of Canada's most dangerous and notorious criminals like James Donnelly, Russell Williams and Paul Bernardo just to name a few. Guards and inmates have reported being attacked by an entity named George Howell. A guard was forced to kill Howell in self-defense and he swore that he would avenge himself. Howell can be seen roaming the halls and prison cells to this very day at the Kingston Pen.
Number three, Craig Dora Castle. Built between 1887 and 1890 on a hill overlooking the city of Victoria, Craig Dora Castle was built for industrious Robert Dunsmore, a Scottish immigrant who made his fortune from Vancouver Island coal. He died in 1889 leaving his entire estate to his wife, Joan, who lived in the castle until her death in 1908. This Victorian era mansion has since been an airy Canadian tourist attraction. Sightings of a ghostly woman in white have frequently been reported and a piano that plays by itself. Visitors reported seeing a little girl, an apparition of a maid, and woman's feet have been seen running down the stairs, and a stereo being turned off and on by itself. Number 2. Firkins House Construction began in the late 1911 and continued until mid-1912. This beautiful Californian bungalow overlooking the Northern River holds a dark secret. This house was featured on an episode of Creepy Canada. The Firkins house is believed to be haunted by three apparitions. The first is a young boy who appears to be ill and is seen playing with a red ball in various parts of the house. The second is a woman in a white dress who has been seen floating on the staircase. The last apparition is believed to be a ventriloquist doll who have been seen moving around by itself and has been known to make strange noises. Construction crews have reported strange occurrences while they repaired the home like tools being missing, window pans falling and landing perfectly intact. Number 1. Dundurn Castle The construction of the site was completed in 1835 by architect Robert Charles Wetherall. McNabb purchased the property from Richard Beasley who is known to be Hamilton's early settler. Sir Alan McNabb was a lawyer and premier of the United Canada. After McNabb's passing, reports of the ghost of McNabb and his family can be seen throughout the Dundurn Castle. People have reported mysterious drafts, objects moving around, and a sound of mysterious music and singing coming from McNabb's room. It brings me to the big question, do you believe in ghosts? Let me know in the comments below and as always thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications.